Do I get an allowance? Do I get an allowance? Is that the question? Is that the question? <laughs> Hi, my name is Lisseli Dawn. If you are new here, hello. If you are a long time subscriber, thank you for coming back. Your support means the world to me. This is the Adulting 101 series. I did a video recently on how to buy your first car. So, this is the second video in that series, which I will link at the end of this video for you to binge if you'd like to binge. But today, we'll be talking about how to be bougie on a budget that sounds like a song bougie on a budget how to be bougie on a budget if the lighting looks different today it is because i am in south africa and we have load shedding which basically is when the government decides to cut our power for a few hours for a few hours okay so i'm working with what i've got not much natural light because it's winter it's a very cloudy day, so I'm not getting none of that. But I've got these two bright lights in front of me that don't need electricity. So I'm relying on them solely for this video. But I hope that you'll still be able to pick up what I'm putting down and you get the gist of this video irrespective of the shadows behind me. It's just me. It's just my shadow, okay? So yeah, we're working with what we got because that is the point of life. And being bougie on a budget means you need to know how to work with what you got. So let's jump straight into it. Number one, budgeting. Budgeting, budgeting, budgeting. I don't know why this word gets so much hate. For some people, they just feel like they can't do what they wanna do when they have a budget. But what they don't realize is that a budget actually is the thing that allows you to do what you want to do. So a budget is just a tool, honestly, that allows you to manage your income and your expenses and making sure that there is a balance so that when it comes month end you're not finding yourself with more month at the end than money to match it okay that's not what we want that's not what we're going for we want to make sure that you are able to meet all your financial responsibilities all your financial commitments are being met that you are not late for any particular payments that you are not forgetting that you have to buy food and you know two weeks into the month you've run out of food and you didn't go grocery shopping and you have to wait till next month and now you're just living off noodles nothing wrong with living off noodles but please let's plan better let's plan better let's do better let's just make sure that we are budgeting and the budget does not have to be super complex it can just be this is how much is coming in these are my expenses and this is how much they amount to does this match no Okay, what do I need to take out here that is not a need but is a want to make sure that those things are balancing? Okay, that is what a budget is. You can go online, go onto Google, look at different budgeting templates, beginner budgeting templates. It's very important to have a budget and your budget will evolve as your earnings evolve. I remember when I started working at 21, when I started working full time, I used to do my budget on a piece of paper. I would write down, okay, this is how much I earn. These are my responsibilities or these are my financial commitments. Rent is 3,000, so I'd write down 3,000. Taxis from Randburg to Bryanston, back and forth the whole month are 800, so I'd write down 800. So I knew all of those numbers and I made sure that things are balancing because things need to balance okay and if my needs were only amounting to let's say half of my budget or like 80 percent i knew that i had 20 percent to play with from that 20 percent i would then make sure that i'm saving 10 percent of my salary every month even if at the point it was just a thousand months that i was saving every month i knew that it's going to help me in the long run and then i knew that i only had a thousand rands to play with so that thousand rands was my allowance that thousand rands was what i could then work with you need to know what you're working with or else or else really like living paycheck to paycheck is not nice and long term the way to get out of it is through planning that brings me to my second point planning it's important to plan for the month ahead you already know how much you're getting in if you have a job you know that okay from this job i'm getting this much maybe i have a side hustle from this hustle i'm getting this much or maybe i don't know how much i'm getting from my side hustle because again honey it is a side hustle 
but I know that from my nine to five, I am getting this much and this covers one, two and three and that's it. And maybe a little bit of savings. And if I want to have an allowance or money to play with or fun money, it's going to have to come out of my side hustle. That will push you to work harder because you're working towards something, okay? So when it comes to planning, setting financial goals is a great way to tie your coins to something or else they just flee. Before you know it, like, you don't know what you did with the money, but it's gone. It's gone. And that's never a nice feeling for money to just be gone and you don't even know why. That is why having a budget is important. When you have a budget, you can see that, ah... Oh, Oh, okay. Drive through McDonald's here. Mm, I see, I see. Mm, so I must pack lunch, I must pack lunch, I must pack lunch. I know this does not sound like the bougie part. We're going to get to the bougie part, okay? So if you are not working from home and you're still going to the office Monday to Friday, pack lunch, pack lunch, pack lunch. Don't try to be fancy Monday to Friday, go into the office, pack lunch, have coffee there, don't go to Starbucks Monday to Friday, okay? Okay. That's the planning part where you make sure that your basic needs are met. What do you want? What do you want? Come here, you. What do you want? Like, speak louder. What do you want? No, a car. We did a video about that. We're going to be talking about a car. You can't just say a lot of money because a lot of money is actually not an amount. So it, it won't come to you. It's just saying a lot of money you have to get a little bit more specific. And money to do what? So now when you start becoming more clear as to what your financial goals are. So for instance, you want a car. Okay, do you have a driver's license? No? Okay, you need to get a driver's license. Do you have a learner's? No, you don't have your learner's. Okay, so get your learner's, then get your driver's license, and then get your car. Okay, so do you see how those steps then allow you to get to your bigger goals or the bigger picture? Whatever your bigger picture is. But you first need to be able to backtrack and see where you're supposed to be starting in order for you to end up there you know so when you have financial goals like okay that's it you know that okay i need to get my learners my drivers and then my car and how much is each okay this one is only 300 to get my learners okay 3000 to get my drivers okay and then my car then you know that okay this 300 i can actually do it next month okay so there you go does not sound bougie yet. I know we're gonna get to the bougie part, babe. So we're gonna get to the bougie part. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so you know that, okay, with my 300, I do my learners. Then it's done. Okay, how do we get to the 3,000 rands that allows me to get my driver's license? It might take me a couple of months, but I'm gonna to save towards it because I know that there's a goal that I'm working towards. And while I'm saving, I can do research to find out about different driving schools, how much they cost, comparing one and the other there might be one that's very cheap further out like in ten visa but if you live the info is you see it's gonna take a transport net so think about that as well so maybe remember someone closer to you okay closer to you is always best because even your lessons become smoother you know you're not trying to uber and it's costing it's gonna cost you way more like just just summer close okay let's not get too technical about this summer close and affordable that's the point. That's the point. That's the point. Cool. Maybe like I got all of that sorted. I've got my learners. I've got my drivers. I'm just waiting for the car part. Cool. Let's carry on saving. Like I said, we did a separate video on that. Let's talk about other things. The bougie part. Now let's talk about the bougie part. You've done the planning. You know that, okay, these are the goals that I'm working towards. I want to travel. I want to do nice things. That's the bougie part, okay? You want to travel. You want to see the world. You want to explore. You want to do nice things because you're a nice person and you deserve the good things in life. You deserve the good life. But you've planned your budget. You've been planning your financial goals. You understand that you need this much to get there. This is what you're working towards. This is this is what you want in three months. This is what you want in six. This is what you want by the end of the year. You must get that specific. Yeah, get that specific when it comes to your goals. I promise. I promise. When the light bulb clicks and this all starts making sense, please come back onto this video and then in the comment section. Okay. I hope during this video you're actually taking notes because that is the point. That is the point. I am talking. Yes, I have made notes. But I'm also sharing from my own personal experience and I'm adding a little bit of Parmesan cheese here and there, okay? Making sure that this all comes together, you know, because that's important that you get a holistic full circle view on this topic, all right? 
so back to the bougie part back from our ad break you know that you want to see the world maybe it sounds too far-fetched to be going to paris right now maybe you can go to beret maybe you can go to lampopo maybe you can go to Durban, maybe we can go to Hardis. Maybe then you're like, oh, still, I have to say, let's bring it closer, closer, closer to home. Fine. Start with the smaller things. Maybe you want to go for a movie with a friend, okay? Movie tickets are like less than 100 bucks, okay? Movie tickets and snacks and everything should be like under 200, I think. Yeah, it should be under 200. So you can do a movie and some snacks and whatever with a friend. But those sort of outings. A fun okay the great ways of rewarding yourself and as you do those small things for yourself you start seeing that you're not just laboring and toiling yes you are saving but also you're giving yourself an allowance you're giving yourself freedom you are allowing yourself to see the world allowing yourself to have fun you're allowing yourself to eat you're allowing yourself to eat nice things and try something different cool maybe plan a sushi date with a friend okay go try out some sushi if you haven't tried out some sushi then you know if it's your thing or it's not your thing don't always order the same thing every time you go to a restaurant okay expand your palate all right expand on your own culture expand on what your own country has to offer be a tourist in your own country right now you can't really travel the world because we need things stuck up our noses first so if that just makes you feel some type of way then it's fine explore your own country sightsee see your own country see your own province see your own town see your own city it is important to explore and to go on different adventures because those adventures fill you with life and when you're out there in the world and you're out there doing these crazy things that are fun and adventurous sometimes you get ideas that are life-changing that's the honest truth that is the point of this video actually yes you set your budget yes you know how to plan but how you expand your perspective is just about exposure so sometimes you need to expose yourself to certain environments or to different environments and in those environments a light bulb goes on in those environments you get an aha moment in those environments something inside you changes or in those environments do you get what i mean the environments is important expose yourself to different environments go hiking with a friend pack up a little snack bag you see how that's not expensive but it's a fun adventure it's a fun activity get yourself some powered some snacks some nibbles some biltong some banana some anarchy throw in something in there put on a backpack and go hiking in henops it's a 10k but it is amazing. It's one of my favorite hiking trails in Gauteng. Um, so yeah, do those things. Do them with a friend who's just like you, who's adventurous, or a friend who you haven't seen in a while, but you guys are both working now, okay? I'm like, can do fun things, okay? So catch up while on a hiking trail, doing a 10 kilometer. Henops is a bit hectic, but you get my point. It is nice. It is an adventure. Maybe, maybe hiking is not your thing. Maybe, maybe you really just want to be full on bougie. None of the sweating stuff, you know, getting muddy and all of that. None of that. You just want to look prim and proper, sitting pretty. Maybe a picnic is your vibe. Maybe trying different restaurants, like I said, is your vibe. Go try out different cuisines. Go try out different restaurants. Go try out different wines. You know the difference between a Chardonnay Pinot Noir and an unwedded or unoaked Chardonnay. And you really want to get to the point where you're like, if I'm saying a Sauvignon Blanc, I know what I'm talking about versus a Chardonnay. I know the difference between a Merlot and a pinotage so to get to that point you need to be exploring you need to be going to different restaurants you need to be trying out different places you know having your own favorite bougie part like so having your own favorite preferences when it comes to this is my favorite red this is my favorite white perhaps it's not even that deep um but you want to be able to know that this is my favorite pasta i prefer linguine over penne pasta because linguine is just you know a little bit more and and penne is a little bit more you know and you don't want you just want see knowing the difference right that comes from exposing yourself to different environments and allowing yourself to explore again this is the series called adulting 101 so you can't always be going out and just ordering a burger okay let's start there i don't care what you order 
but stop 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 order the mask okay order the pasta order the chicken breast order the duck okay put you in a budget that's what we're talking about yeah do that so that you can expand your palette and you can know different restaurants and you can know your preferences you can now say that i prefer to meet at gym mainly because the pasta is really good pasta is really good or i prefer to meet at signature or i prefer to meet at saint or i prefer to meet at to get to that point you need to be exploring you need to be putting yourself out there you never know who you might meet when you're out there so allow yourself to see the world allow yourself to try out different experiences because that is how you grow and that is the point of this adulting 101 series that's it for me today i hope that you found this video valuable and you found it slightly entertaining it was fun for me to make really um yeah i hope that you that you learned a thing or two let me know what stood out the most for you in the comment section and if you did enjoy this video i've got a feeling that you will enjoy this one as well like i said i did a video on how to buy your first car so this is the video and it is linked right here you can just click on it and go watch that once you're done with this one until next time bye